Hello guys, this is Indibil. Welcome to the 100th episode of this playthrough. <laughs> We've actually come a bit far in this and we actually... I didn't look at it that well last time. We actually have a Raxilla laying around. We hopefully have a good roll on the op for composition and we see more than just a Raxilla because we really want to um, go out with a bang here. Um, there we go, we're just on A25, so we have to take back the vehicles and swap them a bit. That's good, we're going on 795, and without further ado, we drop. We're going, hopefully, for a Raxilla 2 here, um, they have a bit better range than the normal Raxilla, but we should be able to deal with them quite easily. I actually didn't even look if we're going into urban map or whatever. Uh, hopefully it's not an urban map. We know what happens in urban maps. They have electrical transformers and those things just hate us. Not to speak of the performance hits my rig gets when getting into urban maps, which is just plain awful and laggy. So, um, I must say I'm quite surprised that I've, we've managed to just get here. This playthrough was started just as a way to give some friends who were familiar with Battletech, but not with Rogue Tech, a uh, way to just look at a little footage and do the final step into getting there. And I'd say it served its purpose. Uh, these people are now playing Rogue Tech and they're enjoying it. Uh, they're not commenting here, but... So, uh, hopefully we see something else here. Mm. I think I want the high ground anyway, so... Um, we can't go for... yeah, we can go for individual deploys, but this should be decent enough. As I was saying, uh, the thing is, I'm not actually that satisfied at how we, the first chapters, uh, actually went. Uh, it's not that they weren't that bad, it's that they really... I was quite nervous at the time and just really didn't really do a decent job at explaining everything that had to be explained. Uh, it required a lot of um, vaccine, just explaining them what I was doing and why I was doing it. Um, but we've gotten a bit better at this playing and commenting, talking all the time stuff since then, so that's something, and yeah, I guess uh, it served its purpose. Let's see if we actually engage here or not. We could have gone already for a bit of Inferno on the escort lands, because they're quite around the corner, so it shouldn't take much to start seeing them. They're actually taking their sweet time to move here. Funny that the prototype is at the usual spawn zone we used to have in this mission. So I'm actually scared now. What is happening here? Have you backed out on me, game? Probably. That's too much moving to 
actually consider this as a normal thing. Let me go to have a look at the logs because I'm actually concerned that this is uh, just the system got hung here. System froze. Okay, we're back. Yeah, it was a system freeze all right. Well, just a broke the freeze actually. So we get back in. The you have the high ground now, which makes me think we want to sneak upon them. All right, so let's see if we're able to get up there again. Turns out we are, so we might get in a hot drop here, but we're well willing to take the risk. Because we don't want to give them the high ground here. So, yep. We're in contact and we're seeing one support lens, which is a most welcome sight. We just wait for a bit. And we see what pirates brought to the party. Let him come. I'll be waiting. We hopefully don't have dead drops here. We are seeing something. What are we seeing? Oh, hello. Looks like an archer. Let's see what he does. He did nothing. But he has vision to us, which means we do have vision to him. So we might be good to destroy him already. We've got a bit of leeway, so we should be able to drip with deal with those enforcements before anyone else engages. Bring it, babe. That looks like inferno rounds to me, but you're just shooting a Seth, so yeah, that's a light peep damaged. You're a grasshopper. Well, we certainly wanted a bit more. Um, interesting stuff in the table, but I guess we'll have to deal with what they bring. I'll wait here for now. Yep, that should be all of them. So, from now on, it just... Well, do we really want to... Yeah, we've got enough Inferno to just deal with whatever they bring, so we start shooting stuff here. I'm listening. Seth, we push up. We might be able to see something here. We're seeing a shadow hog loom, which is flying, so we'll have to deal with him later. But for the moment, this is just Oh, it was a vulture. We we just shoot the vulture. All out of short range missiles. There was something moving still, but Copy that, Commander. we're mostly good here. I'm yeah. On. As much AMS as you bring, man. not getting well let's not get ahead of ourselves and just be all together here because we don't want to it's quite annoying the lamb noise but whatever Diasta I guess we want to take the high ground here 
later on. So we just move this way. Conquistador doesn't get direct line of sight, so we just don't even shoot here. The archer, on the other hand, has line of sight too, so no, we don't want to use insanity here. We go with Apollo, he's already pretty shaven, so that's an ammo explosion. actually bringing harvest but we're still not good to go there so we're just shooting standard ammo this might be good enough to already get the vulture where we want him he's panicked he's going to the ground so there you go last but not least we just send a bit of standard to the open torso no, to the center, it's going to spread anyway so there you go that's a torso gone that's one vulture off the table and we just keep moving Let's see what they do. And let's see what we're seeing here. Yeah. So... The Dragon Slayer, I'm not sure what he is. The Crockett, we've seen some time. We're seeing Omegas, we're not seeing the other members of the Escort. They probably already moved. We're seeing a Stone Rhino X. We have to deal with that thing, and he's pretty near us. But that's a good cluster here, so <laughs> we're just going to do things here. We have a super heavy tank on the table as well, so we'll get that as well. Yeah, looks like the other members of the escort are in there. Do you bring some? No, you don't. So it's just going to be a bit of LK to someone we can deal real damage to. That's MS. All around. Well, that's not that impressive, if you ask me. I don't know what you are. You bring a lot of armor, but you are just quite primitive. Quite vanilla, if you want. So, the Dragon Slayer is moving a lot. But we can already get going on the infernoing at this point where do we want to send infernos well i think the first point of business is getting the rhino out of the table Even though that's a good cluster of mechs, we'll just deal with them one by one. We're really, I don't know what the ORSE or whatever it's called is about, but just an AC-20, AC-10, AC-2 and uh, machine guns, they're not going to be that that bad for us, so there you go. Turn 23, this should be the lamb. Let's see what he does. But we're not too worried about him, 
So yeah, I mean, it's obviously the lamb. It's taking ages to just think the movement. The bounty hunter Morata will also have to be dealt with suitably, but looks like the well he might have gotten out of range or something or he's just hidden so we just move for a bit with the diasta nothing major just prepping longbow moves yeah that's good damage all right but you're not going to get much done at this rate, my man. So, you shoot the Megas. Yeah, I know. But we should be able to deal with him before he gets to go. So, that'll be the second mech of this mission already dealt with. Hyperion gets closer because we really want to be there. Looks like the Stone Rhino already went. So that's good news. And we just keep on shooting Apollo to the Megas. There's no point in wasting the other ammo here. We just got him. Crockett is pushing. Which is good. We eventually want them to get here. So we start getting Punchbot in position. Copy that, Commander. That's a bit of Inferno and Mortar Flare to the Raxilla and whatever is next to him. And we sent in the carrier, and this time we've already got the Stone Rhino primed. So we just set a bit of Inferno and a bit of Acid on the Ragzilla. They should also get the tank. Vulture just goes. We're setting Fascam in here because they're probably all getting around this point. So that's good. They just get damage and yeah, the Banshee didn't get damage though. We've seen well, we could get going on the Stone Rhino. Probably don't get in range for the Daisy Cutter, but we might. Yeah, I know, we get vision to a lot of things, but I think it's important to just get a bit of armor shaven here. Uh, we didn't get that. Yeah, the <laughs> the daisy cutters went off, so that much we didn't get, but we're just setting this zone here. Fast count. It's going to help immensely for when they get in. We want to wait with you. The Archer just gets back in position. Conquistador can get vision to the Raxilla actually, which we don't want. So it's just going to be getting vision to the Shadow Hook. It hasn't moved much. So, a bit of acid. Should start doing the trick. 
um, here we actually got some. And it looks like he's moving, so... Not you, not you, not you... Not you, not you, not you... But you. I've got a sensor lock. It helped a bit. Yeah. We're getting there. So let's see what they do now. Dragon Slayer pushes up, goes for the Seth. The Seth has already done its thing, so it's not that important that we just stay alive here. Yeah, a bit of splash damage on, on the Conquistador, but we can heal that. I've got your back. Hyperion... Still doesn't have clear line of sight, so we're just pushing... Should get really interesting in the next uh, turn. Whoops, sorry. Someone moved and went for the Seth all right. That was the Aswing. Well, we don't want to do nothing yet. I guess we're just getting slowly there. What can I do for you? We got the Vulture. Out. Um, we got the Stone Rhino here. So I guess you are getting Infernot again. Mm -hmm. This should help with your hit management. You shouldn't be able to move that much. The Shadowhawk goes, which is good. Means he's in range now. He goes for the Avatar. Oh well. <laughs> I hear ya. Mm, the problem we have here is... If we shoot with Airburst, we're going to hit our own mechs, so that much we don't want to do. We just keep moving. Yeah, that's very good hit on the Seth from the Bounty Hunter. Didn't expect this. It's a very good mech. But this should be you overheating completely, and we will be able to deal with you next turn. Because Shutdown Mech is a mech which can be dealt with easily. The Croquet actually got line aside to the Conquistador, which isn't ideal, but we'll be able to do more things next turn. So, not actually sure we want to get line aside to everyone. So for the moment, we're just going with high explosive and a bit of HE, uh, heavy peep, sorry, back there. We don't get what we want, but this lamb is certainly not going to be that relevant to from now on, because we have a good shot here, that's not EMP, Artemis and Sam, you bring laser enemies, but honestly, it shouldn't be that complicated to get you. Um, we could really use Stone Rhino, but I'm not counting on us getting many parts from this one, so it's just Commander? shooting and 
doing him. Gotcha. You just move. We're preheating here. That's a bit of high explosive to you, and the archer should really get him off the this guy here. Mm -hmm. So that's the annoying noise out. Plum here is we will expose ourselves a lot. If we stay here right now, so we might want to wait with you. The Conquistador, we don't want to expose neither, so I guess we're just moving and just keep shooting the Rhino. Mm -hmm. We're seeing his sight open already. I don't know if I really want to wait here though. Because that's a lot of line of sight to be had here. Still, we're waiting. So, the Diasta can already get the show on the road. This probably is a torso blown. That's the torso gone and him off the table, alright? So, let's keep seeing what they do. Dragon Slayer pushes and he actually has line aside to the Hyperion, which is bad. It means repair time but, but we can heal with them all right you're dying so i think i'd much rather get you controlled didn't spread that much Yeah, they really like the Hyperion. Well, it's a big target. <laughs> what can we say? How can I help? So, you actually have line of sight here. I think... We're just going for center here. He's not likely to survive this. And we get hidden again. Crockett moves. He had no line aside to whatever he wanted to shoot, so that's why. Bit more acid, bit more inferno down here. But apparently, we don't get to shoot the tank. However, they are slowly doing themselves here, so it's no biggie. King Crab. The King Crab here is just a safety measure in case they get to get in range. Might not look that important, but it actually is. Hyperion. Mm, do we want to keep engaging here? No, I want to cool down. So, cool down with you. You get back. And by shooting the Banshee, we should spread to the other ones. Especially up here? Nope, we don't. Okay. Fair enough. Someone has to deal with the victor, but... Doesn't look like it'll be that much of an issue here. 
we have a bit of Artemis, we have a bit of LK, and I don't even want to take a direct line of sight approach here. Just like this, it should be enough. We're only looking for crits on your center, so. Well, almost got him. On the other hand, if there was direct line of sight to be had, it means we can get you. Just improved. We don't need... Oh, we don't have improved here, so... Ah, we actually clustered two center, so he's gone. We're bound to get a bit of return damage here, but... There's nothing major going on. We go for the Crockett. Yeah, LK is a lot better here. But we just don't want to see them yet. This is a hide and seek game. Longbow shoots the Hyperion, but he's in very close range. So we push back. Moving to position. And we shoot you, I guess. Should spread to the other ones. That's good damage alright. So Come on, I've seen line of sight somewhat. So, let's see you. I guess we're going for head. Not that we want the head, but just the easiest way. King Crab moves in. Is he's not in range to do nothing, neither is the Marauder to. Yeah, you're getting damage alright. So, we just keep you under control. That's a lot of Inferno we're using, but. Oh, we got 14 on the Dire Star. That was a large laser hitting us. Banshee moves and does nothing, so at this point this is all about just keeping them controlled here. And that we can do. There's other ways to do it, but we have line of sight to the crocket, which means other people can get line of sight to us. But this is mostly good enough to get him off the ground, off the table. So we take it. We are just a walking stick, so we're not going to... Oh, he punches out. Not surprising. So... I guess it's going to be guided. question is, who is getting it? You are. Eventually we have to deal with you, so... I'm here. And the Conquistador just casually moves around. And yeah, I know... This could look like a bit of a waste of ammo. But it's damage we're not getting in. Let them come. Yeah, the cool girl. 
is just not seeing it. That's good damage all around. But we might want this one better. So, there we go. We offensive push. Uh, I want to see the mech first. Probably lagging him. Here we go. That's him lagged. That. So that much we got. And yeah, look at the damage from. And we now can casually move here and get the other leg. We actually hit torso, but we've got some direct fire to just get him off the ground here. And this should splash all right and get him off. Anyway, that's the torso gone, so he she, he's gone. Diasta can't get line aside to the tank, so we're waiting. He might move in range later. Let's see what the bunch. No, the bunch already moved, that's just the king crab. Uh, we got the carrier. This is the last infernal round we're setting down here. From now on, we have to get one of the artillery mechs to keep hitting him. We're waiting. We want to see. Yeah, that's what. Okay. That's what you are. Okay, okay. We can deal with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get that. We just push a bit here. So that's the AC-20 that shoots. 20,000 times. <laughs> I don't know what the real shoot rate is, but that's what it is, mostly. Well, we have bad news for you, my friend. Yeah, you're still not that open, but we'll deal with that. Don't worry. Do we dare getting in now? Well... I think we're mostly good here. No shooting. Just running. You actually damaged our friend, so there you go. Just get off the table. Bye now. I've got your back. So we keep pushing. That's a bit of inferno. And a bit of fast cam on the Raxilla. Hyperion just pushes back. Copy that. We're in a quite hot biome, so... That's interesting. Which means we probably have better line no, aside no by moving Copy. back. And given how there's not much of them left, we might do want to do that. Okay, Conquistador got shot. Uh, he actually overheated quite a bit by doing so. Uh, we're trying for a thing here, so let's keep retreating. Yeah, LK will be nice. We're actually a quick cell max, so not that we have to worry immensely about you. We just 
deal with you quickly and that's it. Here you are, Mr. Quicksell. Well, you actually survived that. Who was he now? King Crab has vision to the archer. This is a bit worrying. But we'll get there. He shuts down, which means we do have... Yep, there's line aside to be had here. But first, we get rid of you. This is just slowly thinning, thinning up. And we also are also getting damaging on the... That's dangerous, but it turned out to be pretty okay. Okay, I was actually worried that he might have line of sight. Turns out he didn't. So, we keep going. That's not the best Hitchens. That actually is something we can do. And let's see what they do now. Okay. We actually will want to push back here. Yeah, a bit more inferno. The archer needs direct line of sight, but already got a bit of damage in, so we're pushing back. There's line of sight to be had all around. We vigilance this because... We should pretty much. Well, we're not hitting that much. I thought we would get better shots in. So, yeah, we want to let the bounty hunter do it though. Do we do? No, I don't I think so. We're just getting the ass one out. Come on, you're actually starter than you seem. You. But... We're dealing with you. Not immediately, but... So... Yep, line of sight to be hard. I think... I really want to... Get the king crab here. So we go for him. Well, he survived. Yeah, that's not a spot we want to be at. Not yet, anyway, so... That's probably safer. It's just an asswing, so now he should be off the table. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you, man, are really 
surviving all this. Okay, that's good. Bounty hunter doesn't get Linus, doesn't shoot us at least. So. Not sure I want you get in yet. Just trying to get you off as well. That's you alright. And we even got damage in here. You Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Bye bye, conquistador. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. However, we have bad news for you, Roxilla. Very bad news for you. to tell me to tell you how bad news they are because I can really help so there we go he shut down so we don't have to be that wary of him we don't want Faskum. Bit of guy probably switch him off here. Confirm. The archer. Just moves a bit back. And uh, no, we're Artemising you. Yeah, I know, overkill by a lot, but this is about ending it quickly. You got vision to two of them. And one of them is shut down, so... Mm-hmm, that's you gone. Oh, we even got cockpit here. So uh, not sure if that's a good move or not, but there we go. Yeah, a bit hot. Not to mind. We oh, got ways. Mm-hmm. That's you left. That's good damage in, but we can take that. Good to go. Oh well. Moving fast. Mm, don't think we have Inferno left here, so it's all going to be guided on you. We don't want to splash the Raxilla. Yeah, we're staying put here. There's no need to do nothing else. Well, we actually can move afterwards, obviously. Talk to me. The avatar... ...just moves. It's just about infernoing you. You won't have the range to get to the bounty hunter, so we get here. You have enough armor to just survive this. So. Uh, you go here. I know, it's obstructed line aside, but we're good here. 
We panicked all right. Do we have vision on the back one though? And that's the important stuff. We do. So, torso it is. I could have used. Yeah, that's all the good stuff out, but. So, how much it is? 210, which means we're leaving the Supra out of the game here. Well, turns out we didn't cluster that well this time. Still. We still got a lot of armor, so there we go. A lot of structures, so... Mm -hmm. Both legs destroyed, but I don't think we got... Yeah, we got the torso. There was an ammo explosion somewhere. Oh well. And you're just offering us your back. We'll take it. We don't want direct line of sight. This is just about destroying you with no more return damage. We've already lost one mech here, so not really interested in losing more. That's good. So you should be still pretty much hit it up. You won't have vision, whatever we do, so we're just pulling you back. Vulture. Let's see what kind of ammo we got left here. Well, oh, it's just standard and fast gun we got here. So a bit of standard, if needed, next turn we go with... There's no line aside to be had, so right, we're go. just pushing, sending a bit of Artemis, not that it's going to hit that much, but we don't need much anyway, yeah. No line aside to be had, so we just move. Same here, there's really nothing to be done with a direct line aside approach. We got him pretty much covering around, so... Oh, I guess a bit of air burst. We got him open, so we're good to get him next. And now, do we want to engage from the side here? Probably not. But we've got nothing better to do, so why not? So, yeah, you can't do nothing. You, however, can do something. Which is 16 guided. And a bit of standard. Still shooting to the back, so this should really be it. Well, not yet. Take that as a lesson. AC2 ammo depleted. Yeah, whatever. I just want to pouch you because you're getting down anyway. And he punches out, so. That's all good. A lot more return damage than needed. We could have actually probably have done it all from range here and directly. Well, we were actually we were actually running thin of ammo, so not sure about that. Uh, the Conquistador was a very good mech. We're probably not getting it back. 
So, yeah, that's just a Draxilla 2. We already got one. Mm -hmm. That much I didn't see. 20% cold shot, you see. Okay, okay. I think we want another battle computer headset here. And it was a, a super heavy, the tank. It was just not a very good one. We've got another stone rhino. We're not taking anything in systems, I don't think so. We destroyed the good battle computers, so that's not really what we want to do. Yeah, that's the same cockpit we got. Just looking... Uh, there's a lower million punch, but pff, at this point the punch pot is just there as a safety measure. So yeah, I guess... What do I guess though? We got one of you in storage. That's not what we're looking for. So I guess we're taking the Morada here. Just to see. We get one part of the Banshee, one part of the Longbow. The three Morada parts, MS Mark II is always good, SRM we're selling. Uh, the exchanger we're keeping, sensors are good as well, and there you go. We got a beer, bit more damage than needed, especially on the Conquistador, but also on the Hyperion. And the Conquistador, if we have it there, uh, we can rebuild. If not, we can put the Jumpy Bounty Hunter in its slot. We have 25 tons uh, to spare yet. It means we'll have to start thinking about bringing another spare mech, but other than that, uh, we're good here. We might want to rework the punch wood, though. I don't know, we'll just see it. So it's, yeah, 33 days. I guess we didn't lose the Conquistador after all. Because if it's there, yep, it is. So, we just get going for four days here. We look if we have a good super heavy mission and if not it's probably going to mean we want to have a boat here and see what we do next because we could go easily for 50 more chapters before we get um, a super heavy um, flashpoint. So, I know. What do you think? Should we really um, wait until we get one of the flashpoints, or uh, do we already call it a day? and start a new save here because that's also something we can do so we could stay here playing start raising our um, rep with greater valkyrie which is what i want to do in the long run if we keep playing this save but the other way around is just start a new save and maybe even start it in clan territory and get her way back into the inner sphere. Um, 
that's both viable. Uh, the problem we have right now is the performance is just taking too much of a hit whenever we get into end game missions. So it might be time for a for a restart. Anyway, this was the 100th video of this playthrough. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment and a rating. And if you stumbled upon this one and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I guess this was it. So have a good day. See you next time.